This is going to be, he's just going to constantly have flame strikes. That's going to be absolutely sick. And uh, I wonder what he's going to buy. Maybe a TP. That would be a nice um, thing to buy considering he's up against a Mountain King. Selling a Ring of Protection. Oh, there's his TP there. And uh, he is going to. He does have two um, mines up now, building a more from an and teching now as well, and so um, looks like he will be uh, finally um, catching up in terms of tech. And meanwhile, um, staff being used to bring this um, blood mage in, and then um, flame strike going off to try and kill some f um, some peasants, but looks like most of them have gotten away. And uh, there's some um, little sort of line of defended footmen. It's just so hard to do damage to and you can see this blood mage just hiding in the back just to dodge his arcane tower and another nice flame strike going off there getting a lot of peasant skills and um, some really nice place that, um, place ones there and uh, this blood mage is going to pick off another couple of peasants I assume yep there goes one there goes two and we could be seeing a level 6 blood mage in this game that would be absolutely awesome TP now this blood mage needs to get out as soon as possible there's the TP there and it actually looks like he was going for a flame strike here uh, but didn't quite um, leave it for long enough to actually um, let it go off but um, we would have got a couple kills, but certainly he's done the damage he needs to do. But um, Magic definitely needs to um, sort of go for some pushing now. Uh, he's up against uh, two mines with only one. He, uh, uh, magic or Communism's tech is finishing up, and uh, at that point, he's really good. Magic's really going to be in trouble, especially considering uh, he doesn't want to leave. Uh, he doesn't want to be fighting a lot of skirmishes. Uh, just uh, letting. Communism get up to level 6 and then get that uh, Phoenix out, which would be pretty awesome at this point. Very good against those casters. Pretty, actually, um, absolutely fantastic against those, um, uh, against the water elementals. But it looks like a Tome of Free Training here. So we will, we will be seeing Blizzard and, um, probably he's going to be hitting those towers, which is a pretty good choice. Yep, there's a retraining there. And, um, he has picked his, he has repicked his skills now. So we'll have to see how. How this plays out for him, and meanwhile, it looks like um we're having a bit of a base trade here. Uh, Communism knows he can't he can't win the direct fight because of those um casters, and so he's going for a base trade instead. And I think this is not something Magic wants to choose, but it looks like no TP for Magic. Magic could be forced to fight this out, and I'm really not sure considering um his opponent has an expansion. This is really gonna be tough for him to win. He will have to TP in at some point, maybe he'll have to run back, and there isn't too much of a space on Secret Valley, so it is viable to run back. One footman kill there, um, by those militia before they get out of here, but those militia need to get out of there and probably start building some buildings somewhere else, just so he doesn't get eliminated because of no buildings. And, um, Blizzard being used very nicely, but it's not half as nice as Flame Strike. I hope we'll see more of Flame Strike on the buildings. Uh, and, um, Actually, can you believe, oh, Clarity Potion being used as well, which, uh, in case he didn't have enough mana as it was. And uh, some more um, peasants being kicked, or um, foot, no, um, no peasants, um, uh, are being um, killed off. Getting ever closer to that elusive level 6 and Blood Mage, which is just so freaking awesome. Uh, obviously, um, oh, actually one um, footman being picked off there. Still building footman communism, I guess because he's uh, losing his keep. Is he building any, um, no, not building any tier 2 buildings. And so he's not going to have the chance to, now that this uh, keeps pretty much gone down, so uh, prob maybe a bit of a misplay there, but maybe he's happy just to um, slog it out with just his heroes, and as soon as that uh, keep goes down, it looks like um, Magic is going to try and counter, um, come back and pres preserve his own base, Flame Strike going off there, and that's going to be enough to kill these farms and this keep, and uh, still building peasants actually, even though they're dying pretty quickly, uh, and oh, this is just so, uh, so hard for him, so close to level 6 as well, only um, 30 four more experience required and we will be seeing or we'll probably be seeing at least the phoenix coming out and uh, this mountain king actually having to play a bit of keep um catch up here uh, it looks like he was distracted by a couple um units and so um this uh, blood mage finally hitting six and uh not enough mana actually needs to get bring up some mana maybe if he can mana siphon yeah he is mana siphoning sif siphoning and the archmage is doing nothing to stop this he looks like he just wants those free kills and there's the phoenix there and immediately using a tp actually but not before he does a fair bit of damage and puts a lot of fear into magic i imagine he must know that he needs to attack as soon as possible he has no income and i think we'll probably see a expan yeah expansion or um some main being rebuilt here by communism and uh, so he is going to have Two mines, even though there's only 4,000 gold in here, he does want to have those mines up, and that's a very wise choice, I think. And now I'm um, actually the Drake being crept out just for the um, item, basically, and so he isn't harassed while he tries to heal off in peace. But um, what's this? Uh, boots of Cloth Lost, pretty much the worst item he could have um, got there. Uh, but oh well, is Magic going for an expansion? What's his um, gold like? Uh, Magic could go for an expansion now. Uh, certainly, he actually it must have some items as well, so you can definitely um, put up an expansion fairly happily if you want. So you can maybe power build if he has any more peasants. I only see one. Maybe that's why he was panic building peasants at the end there, because he didn't actually have any um, left. Because I think he only has one, and that's very dangerous for him at this point. And uh, this one footman actually will go down as well. And um, 
Oh, actually, maybe he's not going to be going for an expansion. Maybe um, Footman just sort of scares him away. And uh, Magic must know that he needs to attack, and that's exactly what he's doing now. Uh, he's just going to be going for Blizzard. He needs to take out these towers, and uh, basically it's a matter of time now. How much can uh, Communism build up before he's forced to fight? And uh, at that point, will he have enough? And it looks like um, Magic actually being a bit ambitious here with his Blizzard, trying to hit the peasants as well, but as an... As an sort of exchange, he has to be hit by the arcane towers, which is probably not a good trade for him. And this blood mage just sort of getting a couple hit and runs off, does have a um, push and invisibility, magic now being revealed as well, so um, we'll probably see some sort of base race here from communism. Uh, no, that's base race, not space race from communism. And um, uh, communism now is coming straight back in, going to be uh, going for those um, uh, flame strikes probably, going to be looking for the biggest groups of buildings to take down these um, things as quickly as possible. I don't think that was the best choice. He probably should have gone for these ones if he's just trying to win off the base race rather than take out useful buildings like the altar, uh, which I guess Magic could use. Maybe taking down the altar is a better de decision. I don't know. There's probably a couple schools of thought, but level 5 on that Archmage. Level, that's going to be level 3 Blizzard. It'll be very nice for um, base trading, but that's not what he needs to do. He needs to be protecting his base at this point. These um, footmen are free to just sort of basically be suicided, but um, actually it looks like he's going to try and save them, and that's a bit of a weird choice considering they're just going to die eventually, but uh, invisibility potion being used on that blood mage and um, where's that phoenix actually did it get killed I don't think I saw it there's the phoenix there and uh, obviously unable to attack those breakers and those breakers are unable to attack it so they just sort of pass them like to two ships in the night and uh, looks like we will be seeing oh come on please use some flame strike maybe he's waiting for these um, views to get a bit further away but I think uh, communists are just going to be going for that um, base, uh, sort of um, winning this by taking out the bases and a uh, combination of that phoenix and the flame strike should be more than enough to do it and uh, unless there's some really silly play here but uh, these um, sorks actually yeah, managing it to get some slow off and then communism uh, unable to chase him down and uh, flame strike finally being used needs to take out just I think he just has these five buildings four buildings make that and uh, that, that'll be it but this um Blood Mage has so many ways of getting out of here, has a TP as well as having a um, a Sapphire Teleportation, so uh, we'll be perfectly happy to get out of there, and uh, by using his TP, he has enough gold to do it, and he saves his Phoenix, which is pretty nice, considering he's actually pretty low on mana, despite having 675 max, uh, but uh, Blizzard continuing to be used, Magic really needs to do a uh, keep on doing this basically can't take any damage or uh, can't take any hits from the arcane tower because he needs to have constant blizzards basically and he does have enough mana to get a whole bunch more blizzards down and j you can see he's just continuously doing this but that um, repair is just destroying him uh, he he probably should send in these um, breakers to try and take out the peasants and that um, those breakers do scatter the peasants and Arcane Tower not focusing fire on that Archmage uh, and uh, Arcane Tower does go down but meanwhile it looks like we have um, some peasants just being sneaked in here just to do a bit of damage and um, one expansion trying to be built by Magic but the Phoenix scouting it out so um, he was actually, Magic was actually not being revealed for a while and that was um a bit of a giveaway probably and so uh, not too many places to scout and so many um, uh, peasants on gold if that isn't a metaphor for communism I don't know what is and um, uh, looks like uh, communism just going to be taking on these last couple of buildings and it uh, looks like we will be seeing um, sort of a, a win by taking out buildings very well deserved by communism playing such a difficult strat so well and uh, managing to hold it off using towers but I think um, using towers for um, sort of a good reason other than just massing them for massing them's sake and uh, I, we might not even see a GG in this situation where the last buildings go down before, and so you sort of are booted rather than oh no there's a GG there so um, a really enjoyable game there I really hope you enjoyed that folks um, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe uh, I have some um, more games coming up in the future I'm, that I'm going to record today but I think I'll release them sort of a bit staggered and uh, yeah I really hope you enjoyed that uh, I'll see you later folks thanks